Uh, thank you, Your Worship. Um, last time I was at a public meeting where Cactus and Her Worship were together was 9 o'clock over at the Sports and Rec Centre, which is the Anzac Day Parade. And I'm sure those two got on well there, and I trust they'll also get on well today because it's an important thing that we celebrated with Anzac Day. I'm here to talk about the old um, gift that was the um, supermarket building. Walter and his wife gifted that building and there's an expression of interest at the moment uh, and I've been asked by a community group, community development, to um, address that to the process which uh, closes at 1 o'clock uh, on Friday. Uh, in doing that um, I've uncovered some interesting facts and figures around um, the whole thing and so today's presentation in a sense is just to um, ask a few questions and also just to elevate um, that um, I feel that that building, looking at the details, is perfect for uh, an extension to the library, what the library does. Um, libraries have changed. The purpose of a library, and that's why council looks after them, is for a well-informed community, and that's part feeding into the democracy. So if you've got a well-informed community, they make good democratic electing decisions. So the, one of the features of that building is that it's trolley-driven with little wheels, and so there's a group that wants to do indoor skating in there, and we set in an indoor skating park. But when you look at it from a uh, technology perspective, you've got a lot of artificial intelligence uh, with new robots and drones and bits and pieces. And so an indoor space in town, close to the police station, not far from the supermarket, just up the road from the library. It's nice and safe, good car parking. And so I feel that it should be retained within council uh, especially with the new Chief Executive Officer coming in, a new broom always sweeps clean, so for the next five years. So rather than just selling it off, it looks like they want to demolish it and create three sections out of it, and I'm sick and tired of our district having stuff demolished and destroyed. Um, I've looked at the A-frame and bits and pieces over at Mossop Road, and I'm just saying it's time, the town clock's another one, I just think it's time to, to stop demolishing things and to just retain. It was a gift and it's something that we should make precious. It's designed for the library and if we think creatively that library extension can go. Um, in today's agenda I did notice um, that there was an item in here uh, where $41,000 was to be um, given over and I'll just read it out because it's in your agenda and you would have read it. It says, if council is proposing to graze the Tokoro Cemetery extension as discussed previously in this project, then council could reallocate some of the 41000 for mowing of the Patauru Timber Museum instead where the original 14000 in the grounds contract is now not covered the cost to maintain the reserve with no fluctuations built into the contract. The trust... Um, developed back in 2019. So this money of 41000 I feel it's better spent uh, in Tokoro economy and I feel that the supermarket with extension of the library staff up into that area would be a much better use of those funds since we are reallocating and moving stuff around. So I just raise those questions with you um, and I'm really wanting you as governance to just Obviously I can put the expression of interest and ask for this, but I'm just asking that you think about holding that building over till the new Chief Executive Officer starts uh, and just allow the community. One of the things that has troubled me in the old days of the Local Government Act 2002 was there was a significance policy and it was set at $10,000. For some reason our council ramped that all the way up to $6 million and then brought it back to $3 million. That building's estimated at $1 million. The reason for the significance policy was whenever the council wanted to dispose of a building over $10,000, they had to go through the special consultative procedure that's set out, like you do with the annual plan. And that's just to allow and inform the community. What I'm feeling now is this building needs to go to the community through a special consultative procedure. We need to lower that back down under a million dollars so that the community can talk about its parks and reserves. So much of our district has been moved around in ownership uh, and a lot of people are feeling quite discombobulated 
So these are some of the big concerns that I have and that I'd want to raise with the new Chief Executive Officer and also with governance post 2023 October. These are really, really important. We've had a big change in New Zealand and it's time to just say, is this the direction that we really want to go? So it's only about an old building, but it's covered and it's got nice sweet floors. The kids just want to have a 24-7 ability in the middle of winter to actually let off some steam. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Young.